when things like that happen, because obviously publishing uh, is not always 100% fair, or so I've heard, um, there are um, things that happen that that seem out of, certainly out of an author's control, out of your control. I'm sure there've been moments at this point where you've wanted to bang your head against the desk a few times. Oh my gosh, um, yes. You know, yeah. All of that and, and keep on an even keel and, and keep positive and, and assured that in the long run, you're gonna to continue to win. Uh, today I was sitting in the backyard and I was looking at a woodpecker hitting its head against a tree, just thinking, yeah, I, I can think of all the metaphors of things in publishing that make me feel like that this woodpecker hitting its head against the tree, right? Um, obviously, you realize they're they're designed to be able to do that, and that animal's doing that for a reason. But yeah, there are lots of things that can easily yeah frustrate. Um, like the uh, w there's something. It's a phenomenon in publishing, but it's like. Uh, if you ever visit a publishing house, sometimes it looks like Lord of the Flies. Like everyone working there is extremely young. They're just out of college. Uh, you have then people who come up in the business. Some of them stay a lifetime, but um, you have a lot of people in entertainment who are very young because the starting pay in, in publishing is never really good. You know, people are just happy to be in entertainment type of thing. And um, some of these what really frustrates me is a lot of these people, they grow up, they learn a lot at the company, they become extremely good at what they do. Like they might be fantastic, a, public, a fantastic publicist or a fantastic marketer. And then the publisher decides, well, you're too expensive to keep here, you know, or we're not going to give you the promotion or the raise you think you deserve. And those people, they get frustrated and they move on and they leave the publishing house. They either go to different publishers or they go into different industries, you know, or adjacent industries. And then suddenly there's a new publicist and they're like right out of college. So it's extremely frustrating. I think publishers should really be investing in, in people and their talents and they will get a better result that way than to tr always be trying to do things on the cheap. And I think it's the same way with how they uh, treat or regard authors. They're always trying to, I see it in contracts and what they offer authors. They're trying to, you know, go cheapo on it. They don't want to pay authors what they deserve. The, these publishers try to save money in a lot of instances, but authors are the lifeblood of book publishing. And therefore, if the lives of authors are good, their creative output is going to be good. And then everything else people experience in publishing, whether it be an agent or a publisher or what, will be much better. So that's the only thing that always baffled, kind of baffled me and, and frustrates me to have to see. But you can't just kind of suddenly change that. You kind of just got to cling to the blade of grass that you've got. Uh, with that being the case, as we as we record this, there have just been some very high profile uh, publishing exits from editors who blew up on Twitter. Uh, good for you. If you're going to quit, let us all know what's going on. So hopefully we can at least uh, address the program. Um, when that happens, uh, I'm assuming you still know about the imprint. You still know what types of books they need, what more or less to expect. But you've lost a contact, right, that you've been um, that you've been. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of times on the editorial side, I see a lot of editors, they go into freelance, they might move to a different publishing house or do something completely different. Um, there's also book publishing is very um, mater maternity uh, friendly because it, it's mostly women who work in book publishing. So a lot of women, uh, they'll, they'll have a baby and then they, it's like they're chemically rewired and they just want to then be at home and take care of the baby. And I get it. Um, some of them, they have the baby and then it's like, they come back with like a force you've never seen before, which is great. Like they know they need to provide for their family and this baby and this is the way to do it. Um, but yeah, a lot of, uh, there are a lot of changes like that. Editors do come and go a lot. Um, but yeah, we still have relationships with the publishing house itself and the publisher, you know, whoever that person may be. And we 
get to know or may already know like that the editor coming up into the that business to take over the handling of that author within the publishing company.